We have Mike Johnson because nobody hated Mike Johnson, okay? Um, there was nothing in his prior life, or political or private, that qualified him for this job. He is a lost ball in tall weeds. He is unequipped to negotiate with Chuck Schumer. And a lot of people have ideas about why he's betrayed us. I think it's just pretty simple. He's over his head. And, and so I would say there are at least a dozen members of our conference who either politically or privately have done things in their life that qualify them to lead, and I'd be willing to consider any of them. But and we don't again, have a list. What do you say to Republicans who are saying that you guys are playing into the hands of Democrats, that this will cause chaos, that this unity will cause chaos, and that they essentially released this statement to provoke you into doing exactly what I'm um, that, that, that little uh, narrative that you echoed is a lie, and that comes from the Republican establishment that Republican voters are ready to take a sledgehammer to and destroy. They're fed up with it. You want to know why? That's bullshit. They just don't. Congressman, um, a few weeks ago, uh, Congressman Gay Starr said that he was a political candidate. He's not here today. Do you still have his support? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He, he just had, a, he had another thing he had to attend to. Yeah, absolutely. You have been this motion home. to vacate, saying that you're respecting the conference by holding this back. But how do you explain, it took three weeks to elect Mike Johnson as speaker, how do you explain risking another leadership crisis in the throne I, I think that's the same question that we've answered about four times now. Do you have a different question? Yeah, by the way, I'll answer this yeah. again, even though it's been asked. Yeah. This is the time to clean house. Right. Not in October, not in September Absolutely. when he betrays us with another CR right. or, or an increase, another omnibus. Now is the time to clean house. There is time. I mean, we're not even done with primaries yet. People aren't uh, focused right now on their general elections. They're still trying to win their primaries. This is when we should take out the garbage, take out the trash, so solve these problems that we have so that we can be a united conference, so that we can have it, somebody in the speaker's chair who actually has a credible chance of winning speaker in January. Look, Hakeem and his cohorts and colleagues may bail out Mike Johnson next week. That remains to be seen whether it's a bluff or not. But we know they're not going to vote for him in January. And uh, we know that Mike Johnson can't get a majority of Republicans in January. They're, even our colleagues who aren't co-sponsors of this have privately admitted there is no way in hell they're going to vote for Mike Johnson to be speaker in January. And so that's why we need to handle it now, put somebody in that seat who can lead our conference and present a united front two Republicans who are going to go vote in November. Are either of you considering running for speaker? Everybody, we're going to end the press conference. What I'm calling on is, like like my colleague here said, uh, Mike Johnson can do some really, uh, he can pray about it, think about it all weekend, do the right thing and resign, giving our conference time to elect a, a new leader, a new speaker of the House. He should reject the endorsement of, of Hakeem Jeffries and the entire Democrat leadership team 
That is not an endorsement that any Republican speaker should ever want or embrace. And this vote will be called next week, and, and I would just want to urge all our colleagues to prepare for it. It's the right thing to do for America. It's time to clean house and get our conference in order and get ready to support President Trump's agenda. God willing, he wins in November, and we take back uh, full power here in Washington in January. Thank you very much, everybody.